Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today we got something special. You guys know when you're searching through results on YouTube, when you're talking about flat top grills and all that stuff, we always use the flat top grill for what it is, the griddle. But today, we're changing it up. I've removed the flat top grill, and today we're gonna throw down some massive steaks on this bad boy, switch it up a little bit. Let's see what happens. All right, before we get started, I got these beautiful ribeyes. This one right here is a grass, 100% grass-fed beef ribeye. I've never had one. I thought it'd be interesting to taste. Plus, we're gonna be sauteing some mushrooms. I got some grilled vegetables. It's all gonna be on this flat top grill grate. Let's get going. Turn this bad boy on just like it was intended. Now, for those asking what temperature I'm going at, right now I'm just starting off at a medium. Obviously, you don't have to worry about your flat top heating up. This stuff's pretty hot already. First things first, I'm going to start with my uh, skillet. A good knob of butter. I'd say a couple tablespoons of butter. All right, now that your butter's melted, you guys see how your butter's foaming? I'm going to add some garlic. This is for our mushrooms. That's how I make mushrooms all the time. Some rosemary. get it fragrant all you want to do is get the, the garlic started into the butter get the rosemary and go ahead and add your mushrooms now we're going to cook these about 75 percent of the way through okay a little pepper a couple good pinches of salt 75 percent of the way through we'll be right back all right, so we're about 50% done on the mushrooms. While that's going, I've got this side on high, this side on medium. I'm going to add our steaks, get those bad boys started. This is the regular ribeye. And this is that grass-fed ribeye. Woo! about two minutes go ahead and flip your steaks Whew. look see how our mushrooms are almost done about one good tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce about one good tablespoon of soy sauce all right we added about two tablespoons of mayonnaise I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, that sounds disgusting. Listen, mayonnaise broken down as its pure, pure finest standpoint is everything you want in the mushrooms. Creamy. Let those reduce down for the last couple minutes. Go and flip our steaks. All right, guys, so after about two minutes, we're going to flip these back over. For some reason, that's, we're not getting a lot of caramelization on that one, but we are on this one. So what I want to do, move them like that, see what happens. Just check the temperature so you guys can see. I'm curious as well. You guys know I like to pull mine a little early. So this one right here is probably pretty close to done. So since this is almost done, this area is on low. Remember, I always talk about my two zone system. Go and move it over here. And now we're gonna throw down some grilled vegetables. All I got is squash and zucchini. Season with the favorite seasonings you like. All right guys, so you can see we got our steaks off. We got our mushrooms. We got our grilled vegetables. I think they come off very, very well. And I'm surprised to see the difference how one charred up really well one didn't that could have been the grill since I, I'm not that familiar with the actual grill grates. And it could be the difference between grass fed versus not grass fed, but we are gonna do the taste test and it starts now. All right, so this is grass fed, this is regular. How you wanna do it? I mean, just give me a big old piece.
I'm surprised that neither of these stakes had much of a cap on them. You see a cap right there, so we'll just cut it like this. We, we both like the caps, so we're gonna fight over which one gets it. Give us all the fat, right babe? That's right. All right, so I'm gonna go with the traditional. This is traditional. Good. It doesn't wow you. Here's a grass fed. Mm. Different. Well, we had two things going for us. We had the the uh, the Camp Chef open grill style cooking, which I was kind of excited to do. And the other one was a grass fed versus a regular. Personally, if I had the two, I actually like a grass fed better than this one. That doesn't mean I like the grass fed over a lot of steaks we've had, but if you take these two steaks, the grass fed flavor alone actually beats it. But I like the char. So for some reason, the grass fed charred up way more than the regular steak. And that could have been, like I said, the position on the grill. But I know the mushrooms are on point. The vegetables, as you can see, they're good. So just a fun, different cook. We want to try something different. We took the flat top off. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends because the flat top king just took off the flat top and grilled out a steak. What's better? Peace.